What are you doing here? I'm on a date with Brody. <laughs> Seriously? I thought you had bad taste. You know he's a player. <laughs> you can hardly talk. Neither of us can. Do you ever think about us? No. I don't believe you. So why don't you go back into that room and tell that little boy you're spending the day with a real man? I said I'm not interested. Lisa, Get come on. Off. Come on. For all time's sake. Don't tell me you've corked it. Dad? Well, have they gone to rearrest Mark? I can't believe this. So Mum and James were right. No, no, we would just muck it about, all right? Please. What's with all the shouting? What, what have you got down your top? Oh, you remember when Dad said that he had an affair with a random? Well, turns out it was Nathan's fiance the whole time. Oh, and guess what? They're still at it. No, 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 there's nothing between us anymore. Anymore? We made a massive mistake. I, I broke it off, but... Are you? But you couldn't deal with it, could you? I mean, that's, that's what you were jumping all over me just now. No, who had who up against the wall when you came in? Did he hurt you? If you want there to be a shred of hope of me ever talking to you again, you need to tell me the truth right now. I'm sorry. Wait. Is that why Nathan fell? Because he saw the two of you? Is that the last thing that went through his mind? Look, I know I've let you down in the worst possible way, but... I'm, I'm, I'm weak. I'm, I'm, I'm a weak man. You're not a weak man. You are vile. You. You are just a dirty, lying slut. Come on. Let's go to James's. We owe him and Mum an apology. Wait, wait. I'll make it up Don't to you. Don't touch me. Nothing you say means anything anymore. I've seen blokes like you before at the bar. Thinning and inflated egos. Coming on to girls half your age. Just, just go, yeah? And they choose someone else. It dents that ego and you can't have that. I want you out of here. You and your best mate, I want you both out of here. Oh, don't worry, we'll be gone. And anyway, you should be thanking me for giving you a heads up about the local village back. You'll keep, old man, for now. <laughs> <laughs>